This is a short video that shows how to prepare a 2D design file or CNC profile routing. The first thing you need to do is to make sure you've got clean geometry on your 2D design file. In this example, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how to drill using a 6mm end drill and then creating a, a profile to path for cutting outside and inside profiles. Once we're happy with our 2D design file, the next step, what we want to do is we want to export our file and we're going to convert that to a DXS format. From here, we can now import uh, the DXF file into uh, ArtCam. So here, I've opened up the ArtCam software, and step one, I'm going to create a new model, and, I'm gonna, and I've set the height and the width of the model to 600 by 1200 millimeters, which corresponds to the size of the board and the bed that we will be using on the, uh, for cutting. Right, from here, the next step is we're going to import that DXS file, so it's vector, import, find the file that I need, which is the moment, so I've imported my vector drawing. Okay, here's my uh, vectors imported, and from this point I can start to build my tool path. And I want to build these in sequence, so we're going to, first of all I'm going to build, get, uh, build a tool path for the drilling, then I'm going to cut out my inside profile, and then the third step, I'm going to cut out my outside profiles to release the, the parts from the, the base board. So we're going to go up to two paths, new two path, drilling, and then the pop-up box will appear. So we're going to set the, we, we're going to be cutting on 15 millimeter board, so I'm going to miss my finish depth to be 16, just to make sure I go a little bit fast. The tool I'm going to be using is a 6mm end mill. Now the ideal setting is that our feed rate should be about 300mm per second. For This will work fine on MDF and on the white foam bowl. Select that tool. And we're going to do a pecking drill, which means the tool is going to come up and down and it's going to peck at the material for a, for a cleaner cut. And we're going to specify the material thickness, which is 15 Right, set up my drill. Now I need to select all of the items that I want to uh, create for a tool path. So zoom in a little bit. I'm going to select each of these dots. Hold down the shift key so I can select more. There you go. So holding down the shift key, I've gone through and I've selected each of my holes individually. Once I've I'm happy with that selection, I can release the shift key, and I'm going to call this two path one. Two path one. So this is going to be my first cut. There we go. And calculate. So Artcam is now going to calculate the software. And if you notice, it it just put a little cross in each of those. Uh, each of those circles to identify the drill point. Next, I'm going to set up my inside uh, cuts for my two parts. So let's get this out of the way so I can see all my holes. Alright, so we're going to go back up to two path, 2D uh, profile, come back to the dialog box, inside cut. Finish depth again is going to be 16. 
two, select the two one more time. That's going to be the six mil and end mil. Call this uh, two part number two. Calculate. Okay, so I'm ready to calculate. So I'm going to just select my profile, so holding the shift key down again. with a six millimeter end bit. Okay, we've got one slot selected and then let's go calculate the two path. There we go. And it's put the two path inside. So next we're going to do the outside profile, so this will be the last cut, so we flip this to outside. Everything should should be automatically set up for us. So I'm just going to call this two path number three. And finally I'm going to select my, my profile, so this one. Again, holding down the shift key. A good sign that your two path is correct is when you select your two path as well. Look out for a little green dot on the uh, as you select it. I'll just I'll just show you again. Just hold on. I'll hold on the shift. I'll deselect it, reselect it, and you'll see a little green dot appears. I'm just going to look for it. I'm hidden at the moment. Uh, if a green dot appears, then that's a, that's a feedback to say that the that the profile is correct. I click calculate. There you go, it's for the outside two paths. Okay, so all my three two paths are now calculated. And the last step is I need to save this to convert it into a G code. So save two path as, and there you can see it's going to do two path one, two path two, the insides, and two path three. And let's just save this. Uh, can I save this on the desktop? Okay. That's now been saved, and my G code is now ready for cutting using uh, the appropriate Maxi software.